love gardening. I just, I love being with nature. I just like painting. I love experiencing the world differently, experiencing the world the way other people do, seeing the world through other people's eyes. I can't travel alone anymore, and that's been very discouraging because there's some things I can't do and I need to ask for help. My pulmonologist said, I know a cardiologist I want you to see. He said, your heart is small and it's hardening and it doesn't let the blood in to get out to your body. That's why you cough and, and have all these lung-like symptoms. And I said, okay, what's the treatment? And that's when it got really hard. There is no treatment. And uh, I said, okay, what's the prognosis? He said, 50% of the people with this disease live about five years from diagnosis. It was devastating. The, the conundrum, I guess you would say, of this disease is it makes you want to be still. Because when you're still, you can breathe, you don't cough, blah, blah. But when you're still, you get weak and then the disease is in control. I think of HEFPEF as a chameleon disease because it can fool people, it changes its colors according to what you want to see. A lot of people with this disease get misdiagnosed, they get turned away from care. I've always been an extraordinarily irrationally independent person and now I have to be dependent in ways that were hard for me to adjust to. I've only had one major hospitalization. I just came through that. Once you start being hospitalized, your course gets a little rockier. The only advice I will always give people is that time with the doctor belongs to you. You are the center of attention. No one else in that room matters as much as you do. It's your body fighting itself and you're fighting to stay alive and to stay active. You have to get up and go and move. And, and when you think you can't go any further, it's really important to go a little further. I, I just like to walk. And walking is one of the best things you can do with half path. I just like to get there with my paints and have fun. And that's what I want half path patients to know. We still have meaningful life. We have a right to be seen, to be heard and to be understood.